Hi everyone, thanks for coming back and tuning in again. I'm going to talk to you today about the bigger picture of your life and the world's bigger picture and how it all fits and some things that you should be aware of, particularly about the bigger picture of your own life. I also want to bring to your attention because so many of you ask me about how you can uh, meet with me privately, which is usually done by phone, and you can on my website, gailmanot.com, so I would suggest you go there. Um, there's all different pricings of sessions, so it should fit your budget. Um, I also have a blog, which gets some of your questions answered there because I write about that. So I'd recommend going there. And um, also it'll help you to see more or less what we're talking about today, which is the bigger picture of your life. So get a private session. It's going to help you tremendously. It's an investment in yourself, which is the best, best, best investment you will ever make. So I want to get that out of the way because I get so many calls from you and so many emails and I'm so grateful and I want to thank you. But um, I just wanted to clear that up. You can do private sessions with me. Um, that's what I'm here to help. I want to get the word out about all of this business, about how you design your life before birth, how it lives out its picture for this life, and how you get out of here and go on to other planes, shall we say, of existence. So today, on this bigger picture of your life, it really is to see your life in a bigger whole picture rather than this just minute of time or these few years you're living or the next 10 years of your life. That there's this whole parameter of 120 years, which is certainly, it's not a long time if you look back at civilization, 120 years is, is nothing, it's not even a band-aid. So you're here for not a very long time. You're not gonna stay here. So you need to understand you're kind of setting up future lives in this life. And remember, 30 years to get out of childhood, 30 years, and then the next 30 years you play in a program for 30 to 60, and then another adult program from 60 to 90, and then 90 to 120 you might think about retirement. So see your life as a big whole, and understand, I talk to so many people that are, you know, they're still in their late 20s, they haven't gotten out of childhood yet, so you wanna see your life is ahead of you, and that a lot of the decisions you make in your 20s are really gonna change. Because once you get into that big 30 to 60 track, a lot of these things you look back and say, how did I do that? Why did I do that? And you'll understand you were not integrated enough yet. So you want to be kind to yourself, pace yourself, understand the soul goes through these soul cycles every seventh birthday beginning at age seven. That's why you see these children have these patterns at age seven, then at 14, then at 21. And then you get out the door by 30. So we're taking a look at a bigger picture. When you get trauma in your life, understand it doesn't come to stay. It will pass. So don't, don't freeze frame yourself in maybe a five year period, a three year period. I had a look back this weekend in my own life and I realized that for the last six years, the trauma that's been set up, it was just remarkable. That never stopped. And many of the things that I have in my own personal life always were involved with personal obligations so many things I wanted to do, I couldn't do. And this is a six year window. Now, if you had told me that beforehand, I could have said, oh, okay, I will plan accordingly. These are my six years of obligations to others. But that window is changing in 2020 for me. So what's happening to you? So don't think that, you know, your past is prologue. It is not. Just because you did this before, doesn't mean you do it again. Oh, just because you made this major mistake, it doesn't predicate your whole life. So these six years where I was obligated, my son was diagnosed with cancer, and then two years later he dies, I had to take care of many of the things connected to that, and then my husband got a stroke, and then the following year he, was de he developed brain cancer, which he's still being treated, and it goes on and on. All these family issues, housing issues, all of this thing is come to pass, because in 2020, this shift goes the other way where my life is much more directed to me, self-directed, instead of all these obligations. That's the way life should be working. It should be working on its time frame. But we get caught up in what someone else is doing, someone else gives you the idea, what is your dream? You need to have a dream. You need to fulfill this dream. You need to stay on your true path, not your right path, but your true path. So don't get totally discouraged by something that has happened to you 
or that you're an addict or you can't ever be you know free clear and clean that is not true that is not true that you will survive and you will move on this is the learning place the whole planet is a what we call an experiment in free will choice and having to understand how you work emotionally and the planet is in its time frame do you think this craziness that's going on now is going to last no not at all we it's like every country in the world now is fighting and the leaders are fighting and the, the citizens are fighting and there's a there's a big huge change that's coming into place in the world and that we have to understand the arena or the environment that we're working in with our own blueprint very very important you get on your true blueprint path so you can stay centered see your own future work with it understand you don't retire you never retired this was not what you came here to do that's all man made up and going away why do you think we have all these pension problems pensions are going to be fading out people are not going to retire they're going to plan their life differently they may work a little while they may do some volunteering for a while they'll go back to working for a while the patterns are changing the earth is changing we're going into a different age you hear about the age of Aquarius it's about 22 2300 years and we have only started the beginning of the first part of it we're coming out of an iron age you know you hear about the golden age the silver age the bronze age iron age we're coming out of an iron age where it was full of warfare okay so we, we were used to warfare this is ending even though it looks miserable it takes hundreds of years for these things to come about and thousands of years for the big changes this bronze age bronze age will be 2400 years think about it the changes as we get out of this and rise and rise and rise so the earth is changing we're getting rid of a very big patriarchal warlike society it looks awful right now because you're in transition and that's okay understand a bigger picture always understand the bigger picture understand the bigger picture of your life what did you come here for to do it's all there in your name and date of birth find out Get, it, get a grip on it, and you won't be so tossed around by all the winds of misfortune that go on. Yes, we'll be happy, and sometimes we'll be sad, and sometimes we'll be happy again, but you're not predicated on all that past. Stop living, trying to live past lives. You're in this one. I have clients who come to me, and they want to relive an old past life because somebody told them that they were such and such at during a piss time. Forget about it. You're moving forward. Everything is progressing. You're in this life. Live this life well so the future lives are well because you will probably come back. People say, I'll never return. Really, really, really. That's not true. You probably will. But how and why and what set of circumstances is up to you and you're doing that right now. You're setting them up. Think of the world as a giant, changing, cosmic force moving forward and moving into what we'll call greater picture of itself, higher picture of itself. We're leaving a warlike patriarchal society where it's control and fear and death and all of this. So understand there's a great world coming. It's in the becoming now. It will take hundreds and thousands of years. You'll be back and you can enjoy it. But right now, live the life you have see the big picture of your life think 120 years think carefully about taking care of your body and we'll talk about more of this and how the emotional life affects you on another video but i want to thank you if you would like to also listen more to what i have to say in a longer period of time you can go on my website and you can listen to some of the audios that i have here they're mp3 files and there's a couple of videos that you can also download so those are available to you so i can't be all over the world but I can be in your living room or I can be on your phone. So try that, see if that helps you. Come to me with your questions. There's no such thing as a stupid question. Believe me, nothing, because somebody's always in the process of learning here and that's why we're here. All right, thank you again for listening. I love my audience. I appreciate your time that took to do that. Bye and until the next time.